I'm here today in the wilds of Northwest Indiana visiting the Brown family. They make ice cream. They make it the old fashioned way themselves. You think making ice cream is child's play? Think again. This is where real men make real ice cream using real hands with real milk from real cows. This is Valpo Velvet Ice Cream, where ice cream is still made the old fashioned way by men in hairnets. This is the ice cream making production facility place. This is where Mike Brown makes the ice cream. He doesn't melt the cows here, but he comes damn close. Yeah, yeah you know, a lot of companies buy their mix. Okay. You know, they'll buy their mix and they have freezing equipment, the batch freezers or continuous freezers. And that's it? Yeah. So you guys make the actual mix? That's why we say we start from scratch. This is the first step of the mix process. So a couple of the ingredients that are in here now are getting heated up. The skim milk and the, uh, the gelatin. And then the next step, we'll add the cream and the sugar. We're going to see if I'm man enough to help make some ice cream. I'd like to see Ben and Jerry do this. <laughs> Okay. Do that. All right. I just do that. I don't think you can reach it. Because <laughs> I'm too short? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here at Valpo Velvet, the Brown family does everything. They pasteurize it, then they homogenize it. Then it gets stored overnight. And then they pack it. Owning a small business and just sitting behind a chair counting money. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a lot of labor involved. <laughs> yeah, we use a lot of power here for everything. Uh, we're kind of unique to be a small manufacturer in, in these days. Right. You know, there's, there's not a real lot of us left anymore. Everything's made right here. Well, well, I'm not mixing it by hand, the motor's right. mixing it. So, we do have some automation, a little bit. What this is, is the chart report, and it'll record the time and the temperature. Where did you learn how to do this? My father. Yeah. Yeah, I never went to college. They, they did all that. <laughs> they did that for me. See, in this one, being short helps, Mike. See? Yeah. <laughs> the shorter the better over there. Did Dad do yogurt too, or is that something you started? That's something I made. That's my formulation. That's my contribution to the company. This is a two story freezer where they keep all of the Valpo Velvet ice cream after it's packed. Hey, Mike. Is this the warmest hairnet you got? Nothing thermal, huh? Okay. They sell it. It's not really a manly scoop. <laughs> they deliver it. I like Vapo Velvet. Um, yes, I mean, that name's actually been around since before uh, Herb took over the dairy. I think Valpo Velvet, they actually started producing in like the 20s. Really? And then when Herb took the dairy over, he kept the Valpo Velvet and the Valpo Velvet name. You guys ever thought about going national? No. No? No, that would cut into their fishing time on Sunday. <laughs> Valpo Velvet ice cream in Valparaiso, Indiana, where ice cream is still made by real men 
for real people. I can't make it because I'm too short. It's hard work. They sweat. They wear hair nets. The world's best ice cream. Valve it, only real men can make ice cream this good. <laughs>